guys, welcome to another edition of World in the Metro. My name is George Alose and this is G Ninja TV. Hi guys, here with me I have what's your name, sir? Daniel. Okay, Mr. Daniel. Um so um our our governor is SNS Songolu has been in power for over hundred days. What, what do you think about his government so far? Um for what I've seen, I think he's doing he's doing well because he didn't just scrap what the um, previous government um, has done. You know, government is a building block. You stop, you continue from where the last stopped. So I can see, like, what we can see on the background now. You can see there's some renovations going on on the road. And lately, I've been seeing FEMA moving around, fixing roads, potholes. And then the popular one that everybody knows about, that I said um, road safety officials and last mile officials to um, take um, road safety serious and then bring offenders, road offenders to book and then nobody's above the law, even his brother, yes, he's not above the law. So I think he's a fair man and to keep the peace, you just have to, you just have to put people first, put, yeah. no, don't come to government because of your selfish gains, you understand? So that's what I think, he has done well I, okay, so I wish to see more. Okay, wow, yeah. that, that, that's nice. So I guess you are saying his, his leadership is promising. Yeah, his leadership is, is okay. looking promising. Okay. But for now, this is just the first four years. Okay. Sometimes palms can, they can, you know, okay, they can so. switch palms. Mm. All right, okay. thank you for coming up on the show. Yeah, God bless yeah. you. Yeah, God have bless a great yeah. evening. All right. Yeah. Hi guys, yeah, I have another person here with me in the metropolitan city of Lagos State, Nigeria. What in the metro on G Niger TV, sir? Can we meet you, sir? Yeah, my name is Michael. Okay, welcome on the program, sir. Yeah, yeah um, so basically, we're talking about our governor, His Excellency, he has been in power for over 100 days. Yeah, so what do you think about his rulership so far? Yeah, so my own opinion, I don't think you can actually assess someone within. Yeah. Um, hundred days. Now, when you say hundred days, it sounds elaborate. It sounds like it's much. Okay. But hundred days is just barely three months and you know some weeks. So I don't think you can actually assess his performances based on that because he came into power. There are documents he needs to study. Now we are talking about Lagos State. Lagos is a metrop metrop metropolitan city. It's yeah. quite large. Yeah. You cannot assess or understudy the whole document you are seeing within one month let's just say give or take so this is about the same time he's trying to study um the, what he met on ground but nevertheless my own opinion again my own view from what i've been saying so far i think he's trying his best i think we should give him benefit of the doubt because he said within three months he's going to face Lagos roads and i i would say he's from the work going on at oshodi you will see the continuity He's continue, he continued that, he didn't abandon the project. He had continued it. And then the, also the work going on Apapa Ex Ocean Expressway that he had promised, he's also working on it. I was born and brought up in Apapa. Okay. So I know how bad that road was before he came into power. And I think he has actually kept to his word, you know, that they will fix Apapa Road. And they are currently working on the roads in Apapa. So I think we should give him benefit of the doubt, you know. 100 days is still not much of a time. Let's say one year. Okay. Then, after which we can now assess, criticize. Critics is allowed, yeah. you know. So I think after, 100, after a year, we can start um, um, criticizing or applauding, as the case may be. That's my candidate. Okay, uh, with what you said so far, uh, I guess you, how do you see, is, is this government, is his rulership very promising? His rulership, as a person is promising but i think i have issues with his um all that people working with him say the local government councils and the chairmen the um councillors and the rest to my own opinion i don't think they are doing their job okay for instance if you go to Ichigoi cotton road the roads are getting worse every second not every day every day every second now now there is at nmpc where you have that um on Igbe road okay. the in front of the local government there the road is extremely bad that's the front of the local government and the road is that bad that's to tell you how poorly to my own opinion that's telling how poorly 
those local government chairmen, councillors, you know, are actually doing. So I don't think, I don't think if we continue with the way um, his his other members of um, the people body is working with him, so the gov, the the local government chairman, the councillors, and what have you, working with him, with the way they are going, I don't think um, they would actually make some rule achieve those aims he has, he has for Lagos. All right. Thank you so much for coming on the program. I really appreciate your time. Yeah, right. thank you. Have a good evening. And you too. All right, guys. I have another person here with me on the street of Lagos State, Ward in the Metro on G9 Jar TV. Sir, can we know your name, sir? My name is Adelaja Olayenka. Okay, okay, Mr. Adel Adelaja, sir. Um, we are talking about our governor, His Bapatunde. Excellency Sonwolu. He has been in power for over 100 days. What do you think of his government so far? Uh, actually, he has made some impact in some area, and uh, we believe he still has a lot to do. Uh, but uh, over the 100 days, he has been able to achieve some few things, and we believe he can still do more within the time frame that he has for him. Okay, so, sir, in your own opinion, do you think Nigerians, or oh, sorry, do you think Lagosians have found the right man for the job? Uh, well, so far so good. Um, it has not been so fantastic, but I believe he can still prove himself. Okay, sir. Thank you for coming on the program. Thank you very Have much. Have a good evening. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. All right, guys. We are still here on the street of Lagos. What in the metro? People. All right, good people of Lagos State. What in the metro? We are here again. Sir, can we know your name? I'm Sunday by name. Okay, Sunday. Mr. Sunday. Um... We're talking about our our governor, Baba His Tunde, Excellency Sonwolu. He's been in power for over 100 days. What what do you think of his governorship so far? Um, being in power for 100 days right right now, right? Yes, over. Um, and he has never done anything yet. That's why we that's why we are asking you, sir. Uh, there's not there's no there's no big there. We are, we are not uh, supposed to rush. You understand? Okay. Being 100 days doesn't mean that's not going to work. So okay. let's just give him time. Okay. Okay. You, you are too, you know, I was say, our mentality is that you are too hurry to do some things. You know, I think you need to plan how to run his government. Mm -hmm. So let's just give him time. That okay. is my own opinion. Okay. That so uh, opinion. so what, what, what do you think? Somo Olu is your best man, the best man for the job, the best fit for this job. The, do you see Somo Olu taking Lagosians to that promised land? Of course, I can't say yet until okay. we see his performance until we see what he can do for Lagos. But hopefully, we believe he will do something better. All right, thank you for coming on the program. You are welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. Sir. All right. Okay. All right, here with me, I have another person here on our program today, G Ninja, board in the metro. Sir, what's your name, sir? Um, I'm Abbas. Abbas, okay. Sir, we, we, we're talking about our governor, current governor. He's an excellent what, what, what do you think of his rulership so far, sir? Um, uh, actually, we see a lot of reconstruction of the roads, you know, federal roads, state roads, some certain inland roads too. Because I follow the Lagos State Government Twitter handle. I do. Mm. I do. So, um, a lot have been done, but there are some certain things that wasn't done, you know, like some certain trend have not been followed by him. Majority of the things that his predecessors does, like when road is being constructed, there are some certain things that he puts in place. Why they are constructing Yanoworo bus stop? We don't usually have log jam of traffic. But at my area, not necessarily at um, Mikorodu, um, at um, um, uh, Ocean Alpha Expressway, there's always, like exactly what we're having here. Sorry, yeah. madam. Like all you're having here, is as a result of the road reconstruction. And um, we don't suppose to be having this. It can be managed, it's not well managed. So I will implore him to help us. He's trying, definitely he's trying, he's trying. But we needed more of his service, like we can help us with this. This is not, it's not too good for us, it's not too good. So it, we can improve, but we are getting there. Oh, okay, you, you, you made mention of following um, His Excellency on his Twitter page. No, actually, you, the okay. Lagos State Government, government Twitter handle. Handle. Okay, okay. Yeah, we, 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 what you said and with what you've been seeing on, on Twitter and all. Yeah, a so, lot of things, of course, of course. Okay. It's exactly how, based on what I saw. 
what I'm talking about. Okay, so how promising do you see this government? Um, I believe that's exactly what I said the other time. Yeah. My last statement was, we can get there, we can get better. Okay. I believe we can get better too, with time. Yeah. You know, it's just coming in as a governor and before we see it, from the little, or the kind of people that he works with, the time we can be better off. But I believe, I mean, it's getting better. The construction of road, fine, we are seeing it. Yeah. But they can help us just to subside the traffic. Um, it's not helping us, it's so stressful, it's devastating. Me, I mean, I mean, I mean I don't know. I've been at the receiving end of it. I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm a victim. I'm not happy about exactly what is going on. So they can help us. We are, we are, we are, we, we have this. I don't know. We have to believe in him, okay. but he can do better. They can control the traffic much more better than that. Even if the road construction is going. All right. Thank you for coming on the program. We appreciate pleasure, your time so far. All right. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, we'll be. Hi, welcome back. I have here with me another Lagosian in the metropolitan city of Lagos State. Saka, what's your name, sir? My name is Samuel, but you can call me Sammy Sam. Oh, okay, Mr. Samuel, our governor, His Excellency Baba Jide Sonwolu, yeah. has been in power for over 100 days. What, what do you think of his rulership so far? Um, actually, at the moment, based on because of what, what was trending, or what, let me say what's trending, the xenophobia attack and how they have been bringing back Nigerians from South Africa to Lagos State. Maybe, maybe it has taken people's eyes of the fact that, of the fact of what a governor, our governor, our current governor is doing in Lagos State. So, so at the moment, maybe, maybe after this current trending news, this xenophobic thing happening, maybe that's when people actually really put their eyes on what's going on right now. Maybe it's what the past governor have done that is still trending. And let's see how it's going to do with what is already on ground. How it's going to make betterment of what is already on ground. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you for yeah. coming on the program. Yeah, thank you Have a good much. day, sir. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. Welcome back. My name is Stu George Alose, and this is World in the Metro on G Niger TV. I have here with me, sir. Can we, what's your name? My name is Chike. Okay, sir. Mr. Chike, welcome on the program, sir. Thank you very much. He, our governor, His Excellency Baba Jide Somolu, has been in governance for over the 100 days. Sir, what do you think of his governorship so far? Okay, from what I can see, I've not really seen anything, but I think, being practical, 100 days is not enough to gauge, to measure performance at this level. Okay. Except you want to just rush and put up some things with, to just to deceive the people, but if in the real sense of it, 100 days is not enough to measure anything. But if I look at what was happening before he came in, I've not really seen much. Okay. I've not really seen much. You know, uh, infrastructurally, the roads, well, we have running season, so the roads are naturally bad, bad. but I've not really seen anything. Um, yeah. So, so yeah. What, what do you think of his leadership so far? Like, is he the man for Lego, for the Lagosians? Well, I know how he came in, so, well, we believe so because a, people, a lot of people supported him because of some influences, but maybe that's why I'm not really expect so much from him. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you for coming on the program. All right. Have a great day, sir. Thank you very much. All right, sir. Bye-bye. You heard it. We are still here. What in the Metro on G Ninja TV? What are the people saying? Our governor has been in power for over 100 days. What are the expectations of Lagosians? Are they high hopes? Or are we still crossing our fingers and waiting to see the wonders of our governor? All right, welcome back, guys. Yes, we are still here. What in the Metro on G Ninja TV? I have here with me, sir. What's his name, sir? Mr. Emmanuel. Mr. Emmanuel. Yeah. Sir, um, concerning our governor, His Excellency, Mr. Baba Jide Sonwolu, he has been in power for over 100 days. What, what do you think of his performance so far, sir? Well, um, let me not take much of your time. Okay. Uh, just like uh, the men at the top, Buhari and Co., they are underperforming. Everyone. Misplacement of priorities. I just want to make uh, a comment about Badagri Expressway. A death trap for those living there. And nothing has been done. It's an eyesore. 
seriously. Misplacement of priority, just like across this road. Look at this uh, this um, demarcation. Why would they be um, beefing it up or renovating it, whereas it's still okay? And there are many places to work on. Anyway, I don't have much of the time. Uh, Asana is going to play right now, so <laughs> I'll be on my way. Okay, thank yeah. you for coming on the program. Thanks, thanks for the um, <laughs> program you, you guys are running. But please, let them hear the truth. They all are underperforming. This is not what, what we expected of them. Thank you. Hi. Yeah. Hi. All right, welcome back. We are still here. What in the Metro on G Ninja TV? I have here with me. Sorry, Roma, what's the name? My name is Onome. Okay, uh, Mrs. Onome, yeah. I guess. Okay, um, so far, our governor, his Excellency Baba Jide Sowolu, has been in power for over 100 days. What do you think of his performance so far? To me, the truth be told, I've not seen anything he has done. I think he's still leveraging on what Ambode has done. All the thing is, all the roads that I'm body and the things that he has done, that's what I'm seeing. As far as me, I'm concerned, I've not actually seen his work. Lagos is that thing that they're shouting is one of the reasons why that guy was no longer there, that I don't know, but that was what I read and some things that I know. But for me, I don't know, maybe after 100 days, Sha, okay. the Yorubas, we said, uh, <laughs> so, so far, so good. Well, it's just coming into power. Yeah. But for 100 days, at least, is enough to see things that he's going to do. So, to me, oh, is it good or bad? Actually, it's over 100 days in power. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So, over 100 days, somebody that at least I can tell that when uh, Ambode came in that time, when he was celebrating his 100 days, we can count things that he has laid down that, okay, people can see that this is what he's going to do. But for now, probably there is a plan okay. that uh, Sawolu actually laid down that he's going to do. But at least he should let us see it. Let's read that, okay, this is what Sawolu, this is his plan, this is what he wants to do. At least 100 days in the office is not a joke. Yeah. That is going to three months and... Yeah. Do you understand? Yes, I cannot be, I'm working in an organization, first month, second month, third month, I'm not performing, then when will I perform? I beg, guys, try me. <laughs> All right, guys, the end of the program yeah, today. My name is George Alose, and this is Word in the Metro on G Niger TV. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms, on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page, G Niger, and our YouTube channel, G Niger TV. Our expectations too high. Is it too early for us to expect more from our governor, His Excellency, Mr. Baba Jide Sonwolu? Till I come away next time, my name still remains George Alose. Have a blessed day.